Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to resolve the certificate error you might be receiving when visiting websites online. So in the Microsoft Edge web browser, it says there's a problem with this website security certificate. This might mean that someone's trying to fool you or steal any info you send to the server. You should close this site immediately. While there is an option to continue to this web page anyway, and disregard this alert, there is a permanent solution to resolve this error. So you can see we're visiting google.com which should be a pretty safe site with an up-to-date certificate. So in order to resolve this on our computer we should be concerned with what our time is set to on our Windows computer. So if this date in the bottom right corner of your screen is not correct, in my case it's about three weeks behind um, we're going to have to update it to the latest Windows time. So in order to do that, you want to head down to the Start menu on the bottom left side of the screen. And you want to left click on it. Now you want to type in Date and Time. It should be listed right above the Control Panel. So you want to left click on this. One of the top tabs should say Internet Time on the far right. You want to select this by left clicking on it. Left click on this button that says change settings. Make sure this little check mark is selected here where it's synchronized with an internet time server. And then left click on this update now button. We see that it says this clock was successfully synchronized with the Windows time server that we've selected. There should be a couple other options in here if you want to sync with a different server. So now if we close out of the web page, well it looks like we already were resolved, but let's just say we reopen it again. And we can see that Google is going to load without any problems, as well as any other websites that might appear to not have an up-to-date certificate. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.